Hello there, welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks in Guinea Titan. We're here on airfield and I'm in the Nomad Samoa SM, the tier 8, uh, one of the tier 8 uh, French premium auto loading heavy tanks. I've been kind of interested in getting a tier 8 French auto loader. I would have probably prefer to get the FCM 50T, but that never seems to be on sale. And this thing. Um, was on a special offer, a personal offer, so I thought, right, well, we get this. I had been very impressed by this, it was uh, been on the receiving end of it, uh, as it can be very effective in certain cer cer certain situations, circumstances. Basically, if you can keep the hull out of the line of fire, um, it can actually be a pretty effective tank. However, it is... It does suffer from all the problems of autoloaders, and a bit more so, because it's my first time having an auto loader that is um but it's got a very long reload time i mean it's got 47 seconds base i think i have it down to about 40 seconds or so just about 42 seconds and that's a long time uh, you can a lot can happen in the game in 42 seconds so you've got to be very careful about where you go with this tank uh, you've got to be very careful where you take it. You really got to be got cover. Um, you got to have people covering you with company if you can possibly manage it. Going on your own is very dangerous. Okay, you're quite lethal while you have ammunition in the clip, but once the clip's empty, you have 47 sec, you have 42 seconds or whatever it is, 47 seconds, uh, well over 50 seconds, or maybe nearly a minute if you get ammo right before you get a reload in and most tanks will kill you in that amount of time quite comfortably if they can get in on you and you have nobody else to assist you so you got to make sure you've got a company around you I probably need to get well more into the habit of um, shooting tracks as well because you don't pick up much assisted damage because again you don't dare go on your own um, this thing just requires patience and it requires a lot of alertness really to dump the most out of it otherwise you tend to just get isolated and get knocked out very quickly now I have put food in it I thought it was worth it um, I have a moderately decent crew it is actually a good money maker you I have full premium load out this thing and I tend to make money and that was without a premium account at the time at least I don't don't think I had the premium account, I bought one since because it does make the grind go that much quicker but without premium account this thing was still making money even with a full premium loadout. Now, probably don't need the premium um, medical kit and I have actually been tempted to replace the medical kit with um, premium fuel, high octane fuel because the tank is slow, it's a heavy tank. It's not slow by heavy tank standards but um, you can do with all the speed and everybody you can get I think, when it comes to auto loaders so it's not the fastest tank in the world it's not the slowest heavy tank either but you do need to be able to get out of dodge while you're reloading and you can't really do it's not fast enough to do a kind of like light tank drive by drive in dump a clip and drive out again and be gone before anyone can react to you it's not so so fast. It's not going to be fast enough to do anything like that. So if you dump a clip on this thing, you're within range of the revenge of anyone who survives your uh, your attention. So it's like all lo auto loaders. Then it's more powerful the longer you keep it in the game. So what I have, um, what I did put in it though was one of the first things I put into it was. Um, a premium repair kit I found that the ammo rack was extremely vulnerable on this tank um, practically every battle that I was in I got ammo racked and sometimes got ammo racked multiple times so you'd ammo rack repair the ammo rack and lose the ammo rack again and when you've lost the ammo rack on this thing it is just a nightmare because the reload has just gone up so much so I found by putting a premium repair kit on the tank that I have a um, Increase the durability of the ammo rack enough that it's you know you can put up with it and sometimes you're caught then you usually have multiple things to, to that are damaged anyway and you um, sort of make good use of your repair kit 
Food is probably essential as well, just to get the reload down as low as possible. I have vents on it, I think. I have vents, vertical stabilizers, and I think binoculars. You can't put a rammer on it because it's an auto loader. So at this point of the game, the um, you can force our four to taking chances with the tank. Yeah, you, you know you can you start going on your own because the chances are that you'll be able to clip out anything, especially when you have full health. That you'll be able to clip out anything that you'll meet. The most dangerous opponents are really um, light tanks because they'll just run rings around you. You won't have the turn right. And they're going to be just hard to hit anyway if when you're at the stationary target in the middle of um, a light tank circling you around. Very hard to keep up with them. Pulling up there, I thought the Jack, Jack Tiger had, you know, might have had the edge in our guy. He didn't need me. The Jack Tiger was gone. So there's only two remaining tanks. And, well, we're well outnumbered them at this point. So it's a rather unusual airfield game in that we nearly lost the centre there and still managed to. Well, we, we pulled it back, but from an unorthodox direction. ISTM put a round in, he's gone out invisible like I reckon he was still the same place stuck on the um, stuck on the rocks and this guy has pulled out now I turns out I'm being a little bit ambitious here I come down and I'm chasing after the bat chat but I think he's completed his reload and he comes after me and I've only three rounds in it and we I was didn't give him enough lead and that one hits and I would have needed another round to finish him and then he just starts unloading on me now I would have gotten him another round here if he, if, he, if I'd had it but he sets me on fire and then he must be low on ammo or something he's out of must have been low on that particular type of ammo I think he had more rounds than that And uh, fire, fortunately for me, the fire goes out and I uh, managed to repair my ammo rack. But it just takes forever. You know, uh, if you're up against something that is a. F if that was a regular light tank, I would have been killed. Because he's. You know, the rate of fire on those light guns would have just. Uh, what, another two hits? Three hits tops, and that would have been, that'd have been it. So we have a decent amount of damage done, we have some blind fire damage as well, so that's going to be extra on top of the 3247. And we're not going to make it to the demise of the bad chat. Game's over, we have gained our victory. Overall, I think it's a very satisfying tank as long as you adapt your playstyle to the way the tank, to the playstyle the tank requires. Now this is a game where I would have lost money because I just used so much premium ammo. 3,767 damage overall, 290 assisted, we get a first class mastery. We came number one by experience. So I, if you're, play, if you're like I said, if you're willing to pay your attention and you like auto loaders, uh, this is not a bad tank, it's, it's a pretty decent tank, it just requires a lot of paying attention to the map, to the situation, a willingness to pull out, if it doesn't look, if it looks any way dicey at all, because you have to pull out during your reload, you just have to go somewhere where you're safe, and then you can resume, but not too far away. You don't want to get lose contact with the battle because you're not very fast. Um, if you lose contact with the battle, it can take quite a while to get back in, and that will limit your damage capacity overall. That and the reloads, and what you call it, uh, ammo racks really will make your make your day miserable. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please press like, comment, share, it really helps the channel out and if you have not already done so please subscribe to the channel, I will catch you all again soon, bye for now.